It is Wednesday, April 10th, and today was such a weird morning. Um, the kids are still here. They We had a really, really bad storm last night, like thunder, lightning, torrential downpour. I think there was hail. Like It was really, really loud and really scary. So at 2.30 in the morning, the kids came like Quinn was screaming. Um, so they came and slept in our bed for like an hour while the bad part of the storm happened and then they went back up to their beds. But um, this morning I got a message from daycare saying that they don't have water. So we couldn't take them to daycare. I just got a message now that Bikini wants to say hi. Can you say hi? The toilet's not working at school. <laughs> the toilet's not working at school, yeah. Um, that the water is back on and, or that it's coming back on. Say hello. Hi, <laughs> mommy, the water and the whistle and now it's on. Oh, yes, Chase's birthday is next week and he wants a whistle, so. Okay, all right, one more time. Okay, you smell like syrup. Um, so they said that we can take the kids at 9.30 and um so yeah they've just been home with me so it kind of worked out i was really tired this morning i had planned to get up at like 4 30 to work out but after the kids being up like not going back to bed until 3 30 i was like there's no way that i'm sleeping for an hour and getting up so we all kind of slept in till about seven it all kind of worked out um the only odd thing is i have a meeting at nine so i would really like to take them at nine to get to school for 9 30 but um, I think I'm gonna have to take my meeting and then at 9.30 drop them off for 10. So getting a, a long, kind of a slow start today. But I have to say, I have so much to catch you guys up on, specifically the daycare situation. And last week I did not film a vlog at all. I was, I had a really hard week. I will get into that later when the kids are at school and I can kind of sit down and chat with you guys, but I gotta make some big changes in my life. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like, you know, not to be like ominous or anything like that, but there's just a lot that's going on. We play Candyland. Oh yes, Chase loves Candyland. We just got it for him over the weekend and we have been playing, well, not really Quinn, cause she just kind of like knocks the pieces out. Um, but Chase, me, and Pete have been playing. When we play it. Huh? She messes around when we play. Yeah, it. she kind of messes around when we play. She's not. She doesn't get the full concept yet. But um, yeah, so we've been playing literally every night after their bath, and I don't know. It's fun. 
we um, reminds me of my childhood and it's like such a simple game so if you have kids that are around like four or five years old and you're looking for a board game to play with your family like totally get Candyland Chase loves it and he gets so excited when he wins so all right I just made my cold brew I need to get the kids dressed and kind of ready to go so they're just gonna be running around the house I'm gonna take my meeting at 9 and then head out the door bring them to daycare come back that's the only meeting that I have today, thankfully. Oh yeah, here it is. Here's our Candyland. We got the like mini version. Um, I think we're gonna get the big one. Uh, wait, wait, well. when you get the ice cream, you go Candyland. Yeah, if you draw the ice cream cone, you go like really close up to Candyland while you're one. And you're, Daddy got the ice cream cone. And you're more likely to win because you're so close to the end. Okay, I gotta get these monkeys um, ready for school and I will. Mama! Catch back up with you probably after I drop them off and get back. <laughs> It is now noon and 12.01. Uh, so yeah, been kind of like a crazy morning. Um, obviously having the kids home with me when I'm trying to work is not ideal, but luckily, you know, we kind of needed that extra time to sleep in a little bit because I was super tired having the kids in our bed for, you know, like over an hour last night and just like sleep disrupted and stuff like that. And Quinn actually slept until after seven o'clock this morning. So it was nice to not have to like rush to get them off to school and then back for my nine o'clock meeting. But anyway, they were pretty good. Um, so I had my meeting left, dropped them off, came back, and then I did some work and I actually had another meeting at 11.30 with my boss. Um, it got rescheduled, it's usually Thursdays, but she had something else, so she switched it over to today. So now I'm kind of done with my meetings for today and I can use the entire afternoon to kind of focus on work. I have a bunch of presentations and like wrap up reports that I need to be working on and we have our focus time on Wednesday. So that's just um, the entire afternoon from like noon until five or whatever. Um, we're not supposed to schedule meetings. We're not obligated to like email people back right away or Zoom chat people back right away. It's kind of like focus work time. So I need to get a bunch of presentations started and wrapped up. So I'm gonna do that, um, which is good. So, but anyway, I have so much that I need to chat with you guys about. The first being the daycare situation. Oh my gosh, it was literally a complete disaster. I know that I told you that we did the little discovery day at the new daycare and if you're new here, the reason why I wanted to switch the kids to a new daycare is we moved in January kind of further out from where we were. It's about 20 minutes further away from everything and it has just like we didn't realize it at the time. but it's kind of far and when you're very close to everything like five minutes away from everything being 20 minutes away from everything it just makes a huge difference so it's like been taking around an hour round trip in the morning and afternoon to pick the kids up and drop them off and it was just kind of stressing me out a lot you know when you're missing two hours of your day it just like it makes a big difference so anyway we found a new daycare, um, a few people in our new neighborhood send their kids there, they said really great things, yada yada. We signed them up, we did this discovery day where the kids went in there for two hours into their new classrooms, met the teacher, met the kids. So 
that discovery day was not bad. Quinn, of course, she cried and I was expecting it, but you know, by the time, you, it was only two hours. So when I picked her up, she was kind of settled and everything like that, and Chase did wonderful. It was like a fluke and I don't know, ever since that day and ever since we kind of started thinking about switching their schools, there was something like in the back of my head in like, call it mother's intuition or whatever, but it just didn't feel completely right. And then, oh my gosh, I was a wreck. Last Friday was technically their last day at their old school. Oh my God, the messages and pictures in the app that I received from specifically Chase's teachers and his class, like, I'm gonna cry and I like, ugh. And I cried last Friday, was it last Friday? No, it was the Friday before Easter weekend. So what was that, like the 29th or something? that was their last day, like I was a wreck because the stuff that the teachers were writing in the app saying that like they were gonna miss us so much, Chase is like, you know, such a good student and uh, it was just really hard and I, I really didn't wanna cry because I've cried over this so much already. But um, I don't know, just seeing how loved they are at their old school and like, and just like how well they were doing and uh, their school, I just, I love their school so much. Like they were just, everything about it was amazing. And immediately when I was getting the like photos in the app and it also happened to be like their easter egg hunt so it was so funny like it was so cute to see them the pictures and the videos of them like with their friends and stuff like doing the egg hunt and like with the classroom and all of that it was just like so sweet i felt this like i don't know it was like a knot in my stomach and like extreme guilt because I felt like I was ripping them away from some a place that like they loved so much and that they had like made such good friends at and we just love their teachers and the staff and everything and like when I was getting all of those messages being like we're gonna miss you I just felt such immense guilt because it's like it's such a selfish thing that that I was doing because I wanted to be closer to home. Like taking them out of their school, like the primary reason was just to like alleviate a stress on me. And I rationalized it a lot. Like, oh, I'm gonna be, you know, like it's just gonna be better in the mornings. I'm gonna have like an easier time getting them like there and back if we were closer and whatnot and I don't know, I just, I started thinking about the discovery day that they did at the new school and Chase, I actually really liked his teacher. She was really nice. I talked to her for a little while, like after the, you know, after I picked him up. There was something about Quinn's teacher and that class that like did, it didn't feel right. I did not get, and I don't remember if I told you guys in the last video or whatever, but like, I didn't get a warm and welcoming feeling from Quinn's teacher and I don't know, and just her class, it didn't, didn't sit right with me. And like, I had brushed that feeling away after the discovery day and after like, all of it. And I was like, it's okay, you know, like she's gonna be fine, they're both gonna be fine, everything is gonna be great, it's gonna be a change, but they're resilient, they're adjustable, they're young, you know, they're not processing things the way that we are as adults. And like, all I have to, so the moral of, the, so I'm sorry, I've dragged this out. 
so long but i wanted to tell you like the backstory and like how i was feeling before the actual like day that we dropped them off yeah so that thursday was just a really hard day for me and also our my mother-in-law was in town and my brother-in-law were in town for easter weekend and i was just like i was a complete wreck i cried multiple times i had this immense guilt i was really trying to convince myself that this new school was the the right option Anyways, the weekend passes. We had a really great time just with our family here and everything and I kind of forgot about it But in the back of my head, it was like irking me It's like looming over me that on Monday April 1st They were supposed to go to their new school and another like layer onto the situation so Sunday was Easter and on Easter we had a really great time. We made Easter dinner. The kids did an egg hunt in the backyard, like give them their Easter baskets. It was a really, really nice day. But that same day I drank like way, way too much. Like we started off with mimosas in the morning. I had like, Pete makes really good Cosmos. We had Cosmos in the afternoon and then like as the night kind of like went on the kids were put to bed and everything like that we had pete started making espresso martinis and i don't know if i told you or not but like i just don't really do well with alcohol in general like i've gotten to the point where a couple glasses of wine or a couple of you know beers i feel sad and depressed for like days after and I don't know it's like some chemical thing that I noticed started to happen after I had Quinn and so I really have like cut down on the drinking like I drink maybe once or twice a month um a couple of drinks like if we do parents night out and go out like with our friends um once a month and like maybe another time where we will go out to dinner and i'll have like a glass of wine but even in those situations like i i feel the effects of drinking like and it's not a hangover particularly it's this like sadness and guilt and like i just don't feel myself and i feel bad and whatever so on Sunday, I know that the reason why I drank more than I should have is because I knew that the next day was the day that they were going to their new school. And so I, I felt like I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna be a mess anyway tomorrow. Like, I'm just gonna drink whatever I want and whatnot. And it like all went downhill on Monday morning. So we ended up staying up so, so late. like. It must have been 1 or 1.30. And then my um, our family had a really early flight, like a 7 a.m. flight or something like that. They missed their flight because we stayed up late, the drinks were flowing, whatever. So already, like, it was, I think, 5 in the morning and Pete got up to go to the bathroom and he, like, just peeked around to see if his mom and brother had left the house because they called and they had scheduled an Uber to pick them up and take them to the airport, like, super early at, like, I don't know, 4.30 or 5 in the morning. And they were still here. So already, like, he, it was a bad, everything was bad. And so like Pete ended up driving them to the airport. They got on an, a later flight, which is totally good. I'm glad that they did. But then just like I, I, I can't even explain to you how I felt that morning getting up. N not only was I like hung over, I guess, from that last night, I felt so much anxiety and like, sadness immediately like it was such a perfect storm of it was just a shit show and so i'm already feeling really really bad and then i'm like okay we need to get up and get the kids ready it's their first day i want to be like put on a happy face like you know get excited for them and everything but like i i felt awful i felt so bad like i felt extremely guilty about the whole situation in general of sending them to a new daycare plus then i had drank the night before i felt like absolute crap physically and the just like sadness guilt everything like anxiety it was all there it was such an awful day so it started bad we go to the daycare we drop them off i'm like already tears are in my eyes i was like shaking on the way to the daycare like 
it was like an out of body experience like i felt shortness of breath like and i don't it was just like the combination of all of it having this like impending guilt that i was doing the wrong thing and that i was a bad mom and then it just got worse because once we got to the daycare we went to drop off um chase in his classroom first because like he's better at like you know just going into a new situation so we did and he was totally fine walks in puts his water there puts his backpack like joins the group totally okay then we go to drop quinn off and the kids were having their morning outside time so of course it's like unfamiliar because the first time the discovery day we brought her right to the classroom all the kids were like sitting together on the floor with the teacher and like it was more of like a normal setting like a familiar not familiar but like you know she goes and has circle time when she goes to school in the morning she's used to that so they're outside and she lost her mind like she, she like I, I couldn't even like drag her over to where the kids were playing she was screaming at the top of her lungs crying crying mommy don't leave me mommy don't leave me like like i don't want to stay here i don't want to stay like take me home i just want to go home so that was like it was so freaking hard like and then you know the director or whatever whoever i forget who even was with us but like she's like okay let's not bring her let's not leave her outside because the kids are all over the place the teacher is like trying to watch everybody like let's wait bring her back inside and just wait till the kids come in from the break so we did we're trying to like me and pete pete is with me thank god like i was like i can't i can't do this without you today so he um he worked from home so that he could drop the kids off with me and like we're just sitting in the hallway and quinn is crying and crying and crying like and then finally the kids come back in we go in the classroom she's like losing her mind so terrified scared out of her mind like uncomfortable like she doesn't want us to go she kept on i kept on saying like we're gonna be back like you're gonna have a good day blah 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 they also she was so emotional that they asked another teacher from another class to like come in and like sit with her and try to comfort her so that the rest of the class wasn't disrupted and it's like everything was screaming at me like this is wrong it's wrong it's wrong it's wrong don't do this so like finally we had to just leave because i had to get back to work and it was so emotional i get in the car with pete and he just kind of looks at me like i immediately start crying i was trying to like keep it in while we were there at the school um because like i didn't want to show emotion and like show Quinn that I was upset too so like held it in until we left and then oh my god and then of course that freaking same day like they have video cameras in all the classrooms and that day the cameras were not working so I couldn't even and like their system was down I couldn't even sign them in I couldn't even watch her on the camera app to see if she was like stop crying or something so anyway me and pete like i get in the car i immediately like i break down i'm like this feels so wrong and pete's like yeah this is all right it's not right so anyway we like go get starbucks and then come home and i just like go into our bedroom and bawl my eyes out and like pete felt so bad too he's like he had to get home to to start working and i actually ended up calling out of work because i was just like such a complete wreck like i was a, a mess like i couldn't i couldn't focus on anything i felt i felt so bad like the lowest of lows i've ever felt like so pete like finally comes into our room and he's like he's like we can't do this he's like it's wrong they don't belong there like he was like I, I even felt so bad for chase like he just looked kind of sad because he wasn't with his friends and chase has such a good class like at his old school they're just like great kids like we've 
we've become really good friends with like a lot of the parents in there and I just love his teacher. His teacher is the best. So anyway, Pete's like, this isn't right. So he's like, we need to send them back to their old school. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we do. I was like, this is wrong on so many levels. And I just can't shake that feeling and I can't like, I couldn't even fathom having to do that drop off for the entire rest of the week. Or, you know, I mean, Quinn was at the point where at her old school that last week that she was there, she had started crying when I was dropping her off. And that's a place that she is extremely comfortable at and she loves and whatever. Um, so Pete was like, I'm, I'm calling their old school. So he immediately called their old school and said like, can we re-enroll them? And thank God they said yes. <laughs> They're like, I don't know if this is true or not, but Pete said that the director there was like, we didn't process your unenrollment information or like, you know, stop the, the, any of this stuff because we had a feeling that you guys would be back. And like, thank God. So we were like, okay. I immediately felt this like sense of relief. They were like, yeah, no problem. Bring them back tomorrow, like as if nothing happened. And the next day happened to be like their picture day. So, and like they were taking pictures of Chase for his um, graduation. And I was like, thank God we didn't miss that. And um, so then after, you know, their old school said they can come back the next day. I was like, we, we're going to pick them up. So we just went back to the new daycare and it was like really awkward because I was like obviously very upset and like I my face was red. I wore my sunglasses in there and I was like, Pete, you have to speak for, for us because I can't like, I, I can't even say anything. So we go back and we're like, we're here to pick up the kids. This is like an hour after we drop them off. They're all confused. They're like, what's going on? Like, they're doing okay. They're doing fine in their classrooms and everything. And we were just like, you know, it, it's not the right choice. Like, Chase is going to be going to public school in August anyway. And um, Quinn is just not ready for this big change. So, it's kind of what we said. Went there, picked them up. Um, Chase was fine. He was like doing an activity in his classroom and Quinn was in another classroom. I think they were teaching them Spanish or something like that, but the other teacher was there. She was sitting on her lap and she, you know, wasn't crying, but she obviously had like red face. Like her, she looked like, you know, still visibly upset. Anyway, <laughs> that's what happened. It was the worst. I don't think I've ever felt like a worse mom in my life than on that day and I still like I'm so appreciative of our old daycare like I just still I don't know I'm looking back on the situation and I'm just like I can't believe how I don't know I just feel like a selfish person for wanting to disrupt such a good thing and make this change that would mostly benefit me instead of thinking about my kids and Pete the whole time he was like I think we should just keep them at this their same school I don't think we should look into other options like they're doing well they're thriving like it's a really really good school we love everybody we love their teachers they're they're they've made friends in their class they're used to it like it was a hard really hard lesson for me to learn to be honest and like you think that, you know, your 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 kids are always the number one priority, but and I thought that I was doing the right thing in a sense that like Chase would only be there for a little while longer, a few more months, and you know, Quinn would have to adapt and she's three and like what say does she have? But like she, I don't know. They, I, sh I should have never done this, and I feel really, really bad. But thankfully, it was one day that they had to like do that, and it was literally an hour that they spent in this new school. I mean, I guess cumulatively three hours with the Discovery Day, but 
not worth it. Not, not worth it. And that's the like sacrificial love, you know? And I am, you know, extremely humbled by the situation. <laughs> like, and it really makes me, like, Pete has really, really good intuition. And he said from the beginning, he's like, we checked out actually that daycare and another one. And he said from the beginning of the whole process when we were even like entertaining this idea of switching their schools, he's like, I don't think it's right. And like, we actually got into a fight one day. Um, because I was like really advocating for the school change and he wasn't on board with it. And I kind of was like, well, you're not the one that is taking them and bringing them back every day. You're not the one that's like losing out on this time. Mm. It's me. Like I'm the one that now has this like immense stress because of the commute on me. And like, he's like, whatever I, I commute twice a day, you know, into and out of, and home from the office and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, just not hearing it. I wasn't, I just wasn't hearing it because I had in my mind something that would benefit me. And I didn't take into consideration like the actual effects of it. So I've learned a lesson. Hopefully this is helpful to anybody who is in a similar situation. Like not to say that you like you know what's best for you and your family and that's all i'm gonna say and sometimes you have to learn those things the hard way and i had to and i was last week was a complete disaster for me like i felt so guilty and awful and like a bad mom the entire week and coupled with that the amount of alcohol that I had that weekend that I am very, very not used to having. I, I literally was um, so unproductive, so unmotivated. I felt like complete crap, like mind, body, soul the entire last week. I felt like last week was just like a complete wasted week. I, It was so bad. So anyway, I mentioned earlier that... I really need to make a change and that change is going to be like I'm um I'm taking a break from drinking for a while. I just know that it's not for me. It's not serving me. I've become extremely anxious like I'm going into situations where I feel like I need to drink or that I normally would even if it's just going out with like friends and having a, a drink with dinner like the thought of having to do that is making me very anxious and then and it's it's because i know what's going to happen the day after that i for some reason like the chemical imbalance that it creates in my brain and body like even one drink i feel it the next day i am extremely sad i'm depressed like i i feel so just like angry at myself like why did i do that um, you didn't need to drink at all. Like there's a social pressure that goes with it. And like, I have to stop that. It's like a cycle that it's, it's so, my relationship with alcohol. Like I have been contemplating it for like probably almost two to three years now. Like, should I, should I not? Like, and I always have this thing in the back of my head, like I shouldn't do it. It's, it never like gives, and I don't drink to get drunk at all. It's purely social. Like I don't drink at all during the weekdays. I don't drink at all when we're home. Like just me and Pete on the weekends. Like I only do it when I'm doing like a social thing, going out with friends, going out with Pete, like celebrations, that kind of a thing. And, um, I've just gotten to a point where it is no longer bringing anything of value into my life. And there's like something deep inside me that has been gnawing at me saying like, it's holding you back. You can't be your best self if you keep doing this. So I'm sorry, this has gotten like, <laughs> this has gone in a direction that, you know, I didn't anticipate like opening up to you guys about this soon but it's kind of a catalyst um for everything that went down last week and if i was in a better emotional state on monday when i brought them to the new school maybe things would have been different maybe not maybe it was all meant 
all meant to happen this way as kind of like a wake-up call of sorts on various levels so yeah that's what that's my update <laughs> okay goodbye no i'm just kidding all right i'm sorry that i like not, i'm not sorry i it's another thing i'm not <sighs> I'm not gonna apologize for how I feel anymore because I'm just sharing it and like take it or leave it. Uh, I've been very open and real and raw with you guys like throughout my journey on YouTube and sharing with you guys because I feel like you can really relate. There hasn't been one video like an emotional like crying video that I've and I always regret like in the moment I'm like ah oh, maybe I shouldn't post this like maybe I like should just keep this to myself but every time I've had a conversation with you guys like this and like got things off my chest and just like opened up about some hard things or experiences or whatever like the amount of support and like outpouring of just like upliftment and encouragement and everything like that you guys bring is I have no words like it is um invaluable to me and so that's why I'm gonna post this video and I'm gonna share with you guys and I'm gonna keep sharing these different things that different things that are going on in my life and as a mom and as a working mom and everything like that like we're all on this journey and I am happy that you guys are here with me. So thank you for hearing me out. Thank you for allowing me this platform and opportunity to chat things through and like open up with y'all because it's almost like a therapy in a way. And I know that I'm not the only one out there that's going through stuff like this. And sometimes it can be like very isolating because you don't want to burden other people that you know you love about things that are going on like this your friends your family like so i just want to thank you all for being here and being so like supportive and kind and also sharing your experiences with me too to like let me know that i'm not the only one so all right um i i'm done i i got that off my chest i am going to be we're all in a I am in a much better place this week. Like I didn't film any videos last week. It was like a very dark, dark week for me. So um, it also feels good to just like take the camera out and get back into a routine that feels normal to me <laughs> because Pete was telling me last week when I was having such a hard time. Yeah, so Pete was like, you, you just gotta stop this. You gotta get back into a routine. That's where you thrive. That's where you do you know, feel the best. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, all right, now that it is like 30 minutes later um, and I've eaten into my work, um, into my lunchtime, I am going to just make my wrap um, and have a quick lunch and then get back to work. I need to like really bang out a bunch of projects that I had been talking about earlier. Have some of my kids laundry that I wanna fold later so I might take a break like later in the afternoon. But uh, yeah, so let's get, let's get back to it. Let's, we're turning a leaf. We're on the up and up. Like only good things are coming our way. Like the kids are happy. The kids are good. They're back at their old school. I'm gonna make a change. I'm gonna be a better mom. I'm gonna be, you know, all the things that I want to become. And yeah, that's it. All right, time for lunch. <laughs> It is 4.30 now. I had to change my shirt because I got sriracha on my other shirt during 
my lunch. And then literally I have been at my desk working on these presentations for the entire afternoon. But I feel so productive. I got so much done. I feel relief because one, you know, one of them I had just started today. So I feel like the hardest part, especially if you're working on like a, a presentation, like a PowerPoint presentation is getting started. And I'm glad I got that ball rolling because now I feel like I can just like pop back in and continue to work on it. Anyway, Pete is picking up the kids today on his way home from work. So that's really nice. I got an extra like 45 minutes of work done because I didn't have to go pick up the kids, which is great. So yeah, um, I am gonna close the vlog out now. I still have my kids clothes to fold. I don't know, if, probably just gonna leave that till tomorrow um, just because I kind of need a break right now. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I, you know, unloaded a lot on you, I feel like today, but I wanted to catch you up on the daycare situation for my kids and kind of just keep it real with some of the stuff that's going on in my life. Um, Everything is not rainbows and butterflies all the time. And I know a lot of you guys can relate to that. So just wanted to kind of share what's going on in my life. I appreciate all of your support and your sweet comments and encouragement as always. And I will talk to you in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.